how did I get violated on my Facebook page and how did I lost my Facebook page? You know, today I'm going to take you to uh, a little short story of how uh, as an, a, a beginner on my Facebook, you know, I, I was so excited, you know, to, to post some stuff and, uh, you know, get views, get comments, you know, but I never knew it was gonna land me to the rest to a restriction. Okay, so the story goes like this. When I started my Facebook page, you know, I was so active, you know, and worked very, very hard for me to get that Facebook page up to 15,000 followers in a space of one month. Okay, so but the, the, the page was about football. Okay, I, I'm a football analyst, so it's about football. So I, I was so excited to post random stuff, you know. I go to the net, I get some stuff, football stuff, you know, of my favorite club, Manchester United. I will post it, you know, every, every I will post all the reactions there. Mm, or if there's any uh, iconic moment of the, 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 the game, I will just take it like that post on my Facebook page. I even post on stories and post on reels, you know. I was getting a lot of reactions from people, getting a lot of thumbs up, getting a lot of, you know, it was so excited, you know, that I, I'm, I'm giving my audience what they really want, what they really wish for, but I never knew that it was gonna land me in the restriction, which, you know, later terminated, it got, it, my page later got terminated, you know, they blocked my page up to now I can't have access to it. So, when I was posting those random stuff, you know, as a beginner, I didn't know that it was, it was, you know, it wasn't legal to, to it's not legal to post somebody's stuff on your Facebook page without getting a copyright claim, from the person or putting a disclaimer but even when you put a disclaimer or you give credit to the rightful owner some people can go extra mile of reporting you they don't care their own rule is don't post my stuff on your page okay so that was that that was what happened and i didn't have had the idea and I keep on posting, sorry. I keep on posting stuff. And boom, one day, I got a notice from uh, Meta that my Facebook has been restricted. So, you know, I make inquiries, I make inquiries, and uh, I had to, you know, make inquiries. And I got the um, reasons that I shouldn't post anything that is, that is, unorig that is unoriginal content. I shouldn't post anything that is unoriginal. That I supposed to be posting hundred percent of my stuff there. Okay, had it been I know, I I wouldn't have lost that page. Okay, so I when I I tried to dig deep, then I noticed that uh, a particular uh, a particular group of persons reported uh, some of uh, their posts that I made on my Facebook page. Not one, about three. Okay, so Facebook restricted me. I was like, that was a hard, that was so heartbreaking. I, I, I contributed a lot to that page. I spent a lot, you know, as a beginner, I, I, I devoted all my time to, to be able to hit that number of followers, about 15,000 within a month. And one day, when I got restricted, I was trying to, you know, get myself back. I almost got depressed, you know. So, as a beginner, you can also avoid it. These are the mistakes that people make. Sometimes you can get violated and they won't restrict your channel entirely. But believe me, you'll be making posts, your posts will not go viral. If you used to get like, when you make a post within 10 minutes, you get like 1,000 or 2,000 reactions from people, when you get some violation, you will not be able to get that amount of reaction. Facebook, Facebook cannot be pushing your content 
to far audience just because of that violation. You might not know. You might think maybe the audience are not complying, but no, it, that restriction is behind it. Okay, and uh, uh, sometimes you might get violated. Your Facebook page will not be terminated, but you can be monetized. So how to check it is now you have opportunity to check it. Okay, go to your Facebook settings, go to your professional mode, go to the tools, go to monetization, and click on it. Check your Facebook page quality. Okay, if it is green, if they tell you that this page has no violation, have no violation, congratulations, you're necessary. But if they tell, if it is yellow and they tell you that uh, this Facebook might stand the risk of not being monetized, then you have to check your alerts, check uh, the update, check the reasons. Okay, if it's uh, some unoriginal content, you can appeal. Okay. You can appeal if it is yellow you still have a like, grace okay so all you have to do is once it's yellow and they tell you that this one have a this or they have some uh, violation issues on original content you know whatever just try to make appeal i'm still going to make a, a video practical video on how you can appeal to meta or you know how you can check all these things okay so if it is yellow you are still a little bit on a safe side but you should try not to violate again because it might lead you to entirely, you know, restriction of Facebook once it's read. So the second, the third most dangerous part of it is once it's read, then you cannot be monetized again, no matter what you do. You can't appeal. Okay, so some, some of those violations on original content, once it's yellow, can take up to one year to be removed, especially when somebody reported your content reported their content you post on your page. It might take one year to remove them. Some people have waited up to one year, two years after all the appeal, yet it has not been removed. And guess what? They've gotten the monetization uh, criteria. They are eligible to, uh, they're supposed to be eligible for monetization, but because of this violation, Facebook can never monetize them until that violation is removed. I'm still going to make a video on how you can appeal, you know, to be able to remove some violation because I've been through it many times, okay? So that is it. If it's still green, as I said, you want to say that they will tell you congratulations, please try to thank you for making this Facebook, a, you know, a safe place. And then yellow, this page may start the risk of getting monetization then red you cannot be monetized and once it's red you can never achieve anything on facebook okay so for you to be on a safe side always post an original content of yours any niche any category you are into please always try to create content out of it don't get excited because these people, this person have a, a you know an engaging post or a nice post. You take it and come and put on your on your page. You might stand the risk of violation of being violated. And also, don't go to TikTok and take a video with TikTok thumbnail. All this social media outside Facebook, Facebook doesn't joke. Facebook doesn't smile on it. They frown on it. Okay, so if you are to post somebody's content, that is the way you do it. If it is a football reaction, if the, if it is a football you want to post, maybe a football game you want to post, what you have to do is there's a way you create it. Okay, attach your picture on it on an side of it on the side of your screen like this and react over it. Make sure you you contributed your own your own quarter to that to that video let it not be 100 percent unoriginal once that video you know have uh, uh, your own your own contribution your own contribution be it motivation be it reaction be it criticism so long as you contributed something to that video and you attach the picture or your voice and your voice to it you will not stand the risk of being violated because you have contributed to it. That's the reason why when you come on Facebook, you see people reacting to videos. 
that is that is that is that is wisdom you can actually make money with somebody's video but make sure you contributed your own quarter make sure you get your picture attached make sure make sure you get your voice on it by so doing even when the person reported you facebook will go through it and find out that you didn't violate that rule because you contributed to that video you contributed to that stuff and when you want to copy a post from somebody when you copy please make sure you paraphrase it okay some people even go to the extent of reporting when you when you copy their their text or their you know their write-ups on their on their on their channel so when you do this thing always try to paraphrase okay paraphrase it change it from that original whatever and post it so even when the person comes i come across it and see that yeah this is my my you did just did you copied my my writers but the person will see that you've paraphrased even when you when the person reported go to the instead of reporting facebook will check it and said that you didn't forward it any room okay so but another thing is sometimes you post your hundred percent original content and still get uh, violated on original content don't worry that one all you have to do is to make appeal take the video and place on your appeal uh, appeal uh, on your application and send it to meta they will go through it it will take like two to three working days they will get back to you before one week three days they've removed it okay so don't get afraid when you see something like that when and you know you are very sure that you are posting original content okay so what is the main topic of this live video this vlog if i should call it like that this discussion is for you to avoid violation on your facebook page by posting your original content okay so i'm um, I'm here to help you anyway you are getting it off on your Facebook page on your YouTube channel so I post some stuff like that you know I motivate you I teach you how to go about it okay so if you have any question always drop it at the comment section I will always return to answer it and please help this this YouTube channel to grow by hitting the subscription button and also put the notification bell so that you can be the first person to identify whenever I post video. If this is the content you are looking for, please always subscribe. And for the returning subscribers, I love you all. My name is Kingsman Simba Mara. You're welcome to my channel. I'm always welcome.